So I've suggested that we license sales finance companies and uh, institute, institute both civil and criminal penalties against the sales finance companies who engage in this particular racket. Second, I've asked the committee to consider legislation which would give the individual homeowner who has signed one of these contracts seven days in which to rescind the contract where he has been pressured into signing it. This is called a cooling off period and it's found to be a very valuable weapon against high pressure salesmanship. I also recommend a change on the, the confession statute. So far as I know, the only state in the union or the federal courts that require this. We have enough restrictions on us by the Supreme Court uh, on confessions that I, it feels my feeling that if we can abide by all those decisions and a person orally confesses that the confession should be admissible. that it strengthening, strengthening the power of the Consumer Credit Commissioner, giving him the power to subpoena records, and giving him the uh, power to levy costs of his investigation against the companies involved in this kind of swindle once they are found guilty. I don't think the taxpayers of Texas should have to pay for these investigations. Finally, I have suggested that the Consumer Credit Commissioner, the Attorney General of the State of Texas, or the District Attorney of the County involved, be given the power to go against these uh, swindlers and get the money of the victims back. One was that we felt the penalty for assault to murder should be raised from two years to life in prison rather than 25 year maximum. We have many very aggravated cases where a person shot or wounded uh, or left the person to die, and maybe the doctors save him, and uh, the juries are rather surprised that the most they can give is 25 years. Well, the <clears throat> major elements of this uh, addition to the uh, Memorial Auditorium uh, consist of a large exhibit hall of approximately 200,000 square feet, which will be one of the largest facilities in this area of the country, coupled with meeting rooms to function with the exhibit hall, all of these to provide expanded convention facilities for the city of Dallas.